Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Jonathan with Poise Tech and today we're going to be looking at a Shopify app that I use to build completely free landing pages on Shopify. Landing pages are a great way to convert visitors into subscribers, customers, and returning visitors. But it's one thing that Shopify is terrible at. Now Shopify does a lot to do some awesome design on your homepage, but let's say you want to make a more specific product page for your products and direct your customers directly to that page. Or let's say you want to get them to sign up for a special offer. Uh, you, can't you can't go ahead and make a new homepage every time you want to do this, so you're going to need to create landing pages. But hiring a Shopify expert to do this for you can be really expensive. And a lot of the apps out there are based on monthly fees that can get really pricey. Don't worry, I found this cool trick that helps you design awesome landing pages and you can use it for absolutely free. That's right, free. All right, so let's take a look here at a landing page that I've designed for my website, foodilium.com. And we do a lot of different healthy eating stuff. So the idea of this land pa landing page is to uh, kind of promote this gut health challenge that we're doing. And it's a way to challenge uh, our audience to you know, kind of be healthier and uh, just eat foods that are healthier for their gut. So the idea here is really to just post this challenge and then have them spread the challenge to their friends and kind of get a sign up in return and get more subscribers that we can later sell to. So as you can see, I've added a nice parallax header that kind of scrolls down with you as you slide down the page. And there's also a nice little kind of about the challenge that tells you a little bit more about it. And then it's got this cool uh, little layout that tells you kind of each piece of the challenge and has a nice photo next to it. And it's really a nice visual way to display what we're doing and then you know kind of get people's attention and if you get to the very bottom of the page you'll see uh, one of the products that i am actually selling and it's uh our meal plan which is very related to this challenge so the idea is not necessarily to sell everyone on this meal plan right away but it's definitely to get uh, some subscribers and then sell them later so as you'll notice there isn't actually a subscription form that i have set up on this landing page and that's because i'm using uh, just uno pop-ups in combination with this landing page to after 10 seconds of you being on the page, it's gonna pop up and it's gonna ask you to uh, become a subscriber and get tons of free recipes that are healthy for your gut and have all sorts of other health benefits. So before we dive into this and I tell you what app I'm using to create these landing pages absolutely free, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel because I'm gonna be dropping all of the latest Shopify updates and there's gonna be some free giveaways later on, but you're not eligible unless you subscribe, so do that right now. All right, so before I show you guys how to build out a page from scratch using the PageFly page builder, let's take a quick look at the plans that are offered. So you have here the free plan, uh, which you can use to build out pages on Shopify absolutely free. You're limited to three pages on this plan and you only have use of 16 different templates and a few of your other uh, settings are gonna be a little bit limited. But the cool thing about this app is that you can actually try out the pro and premium plans for free for 14 days. And then if you do decide to downgrade to free, then you can actually keep those pages running and you just can't update them all at all. But if you build out some awesome pages using their more premium plans, then uh, you can still keep all of that up on your Shopify. So I totally recommend uh, using their pro or premium plans during the trial and just kind of laying everything out that you're gonna wanna do beforehand so that you know what you're gonna get into and that way you can kind of maximize usage of that trial. So a quick plug here before I get into showing you guys how to actually design the page. Uh, if you do decide to download this app, even if you're using the free trial, uh, please check out my link in the description because I love making these reviews for you guys and kind of showing you guys how to do stuff in tutorials. But I also like to do other stuff like uh, eating food and whatnot, and those things cost money. So support the channel and I'll keep making these awesome videos for you guys. So let's go into manage pages. Now I showed you guys earlier uh, the seven day gut challenge page that I made, but I actually wanna create a new page from scratch and show you guys how to do that real quick. Now it's not gonna be uh, anything spectacular. It's just gonna be a real quick run through, uh, but it'll show you guys kind of how to use the features. So we can choose here the template type and let's say that uh, our landing page, uh, we wanna make a, a product page. So. I'm actually no longer in the free trial mode where I get to uh, use the pro and premium features. So I'm kind of limited to, limited to just a few templates and we're gonna choose uh, the handmade product template and start with this. So this is really a cool kind of like visual editor that you get to use and play around and edit everything just by clicking on it on your screen. 
Um, it's, an it's an interface that's really easy to get used to, and once you're used to it, it becomes super easy to build out uh, some really awesome and beautiful landing pages. So let's start with uh, finding the product that we want to use here, and I'm going to use a kind of a dummy product that I had uh, thought about selling on foodilium.com previously, but I don't actually sell it right now. So we're going to take this bamboo dish scrub and let's see. So we want to do a couple things right here just to customize this and give it the look that we want. So in styling, let's go to the button and let's say we want to change the background color of the button. So we're down here in the background section and we've clicked on the new color. And then since this is a landing page, uh, our ultimate goal is to convert uh, viewers into either customers or subscribers. And so let's make this button a little bit bigger because we need to make sure that you can see it. So we can do that by editing the font size right here. Okay, button's made bigger. And I actually think that this uh, picture up here kind of looks pretty good for this product. It's related enough for this tutorial, but I'm going to show you guys how to kind of update that picture. So I've downloaded a few other free commercial use pictures that I'm going to use uh, for this for this landing page template. And I'm going to use a kitchen photo on this one. So let's see where we had that. Okay. Here's the kitchen photo that I downloaded. And to edit the title, uh, we just click right on it and then type. Uh, I love visual editors, they're super easy to use. So let's say hand crafted bamboo dish, dish scrub. And we do want to make sure there's no spelling errors. Okay, great. Uniquely designed. We can actually leave that just for this tutorial. And the one thing that you can see is that it's kind of hard to read uh, the title right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this background here and I'm going to actually uh, make that a little bit opaque so that, that stands out. And now you can read it better and see what we're doing. Okay, this all looks good. And you can see this template actually has uh, some cool stuff already laid out for us. So what we're going to do is we do want to kind of educate our customer about this product. And if I can stop scrolling. Okay, so let's edit the, let's just say about the scrub. Uh, we'll keep this as origins. You can see it's all pretty straightforward. And then let's say this is materials. Now I do want to change this photo for you guys. So I downloaded another quick photo that we can update. And it's going to be a picture of bamboo. All right. And it's just that easy to change the image under general and image. You can just upload your own image from the computer, do that really quickly, or kind of use images that you already have saved. Okay, and this is a real cool way down here with the, uh, the video section to tell our customers a little bit more about us and really kind of build that relationship because we're not always going to make the sale just by posting a link to a product with an add to cart. Sometimes customers like to be a little bit more educated. So the history of our dish scrub. And in order to change this, we're going to need to use a YouTube video URL and I haven't actually made a video for this product, but I'm going to use uh, this other kind of related bamboo dish scrub video just for the purpose of this tutorial. There we go. Uh, zero waste swaps. You can see here we have the, uh, the scrub picture and then we have a showcase in modern life. And so this is just a bunch of photos, uh, which we can obviously replace with our product photos and now you know we're getting a little bit too uh, picture and text heavy uh, the goal of this landing page is really to convert people and while we want to have information we don't want to be a novel here so I'm just going to delete this section because it's almost repetitive of the last section in my opinion 
And we can do that by just clicking on the broader section in the visual editor and then hitting the trash can. Boom, gone. And so we actually have another um, product section down here, which I'm gonna use to add the same product because it's more opportunities for customers to buy, which is always a good thing. And you know, we could add it that add to cart button as well, but we don't need to do that right now. And then here's a nice little notification that we're accepting major payment methods. So when you're using these templates, uh, you can also add sections to them. You don't have to just use the template that's provided. You can add elements, which is what you would do if you were building out uh, your own landing page from scratch. So let's take a social icon because social media is huge and we want to really, this is where we're connecting with our audience. Uh, there's a good chance that we're actually directing them from our social media page to this landing page. So let's show them some stuff that they're familiar with, like some of our customers, for example. So here's their Instagram. And we're just gonna drag and drop this down here where we have space for it. Okay, and then we can um, kind of sync this up with our feed to Instagram or just import uh, photos that we've used on Instagram to, uh, yeah, to the product page down here. And then one last thing that I want to toy around with adding is a countdown timer because it creates a sense of urgency and, uh, you know, helps people, uh, you know, buy things a little bit faster. So this is... Right now the layout's really small and I actually don't like how small this countdown timer is. So I'm gonna go over here to uh, the general settings on the countdown timer and make it a fitted timer. And so now it's uh, much bigger. So, you know, people can actually see it and it might actually have an effect on people when they hit this landing page. And then we can uh, toy around with the expiration date here. And right now it's out about four months in the future. So let's have it just sometime in January of 2019, 75 days out. And then we can do all sorts of stuff with the styling, but uh, make it bold, um, change the colors if we want to. But I actually like this how it is right now. And so uh, that's just a quick tutorial that now you have yourself a landing page. And once you've uh, finished this, you can go save and publish. And this is actually going to so oh, we're going to need a page title. So bamboo dish scrub. And then we can go ahead and publish that page. And once we've published it, it can go live on our website and then we can direct uh, people straight to this product page as a landing page. And, you know, hopefully convert a lot more people into sales and subscribers than we previously would have, you know, just using a normal Shopify product page. Uh, one other thing that I don't show here in this tutorial is I, I'm also, you know, I'm not just selling people. I'm also trying to get subscribers. And instead of adding a contact form uh, through the ad sections, add elements, I actually want to, uh, I want to use another plugin that I'm using on Shopify and that's just Uno pop-ups. And I just want to target a pop-up specifically to this page that, uh, that prompts people to subscribe and gives them, uh, you know, recipes sent straight to their inbox. And I can do that uh, pretty easily in just Uno. I'll have a separate tutorial on that. Uh, but as far as creating the landing page, that's kind of everything that I want to go over today. So if you guys have any other questions about how to make a landing page with the PageFly app, then leave the comments down in the comment section below and I will make sure to get back to you uh, with a quick answer as quickly as possible.